think it's been way too long since I've actually sat down to film a video. I've been on the go for about a week and a half now. I've been traveling in California if you guys haven't been keeping up with my vlog channel or my tweets or my Instagram or any of that but I was recently in LA for LA IMATS and I was just so in love. I was literally trying to soak up every bit of that trip that I could. I even made a montage from my LA trip which basically has all my favorite highlights of the trip as well as pictures with my friends and my subscribers so definitely check that video out. I'll link it at the end of this video as well as in the down bar for you guys to watch and I'm literally going off of no sleep. I'm so jet lagged. It's ridiculous. So I have Starbucks here to think. It's the only thing that keeps me going. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump in and show you guys what I got from California. The first thing I'm going to get this out of the way because it's the only thing that I did not buy in California. This was actually shipped to my house while I was gone so my mom just threw it in my room. But this is a little anklet and I was going to skip the month because I didn't see anything that I liked until I hit my show me more button and I saw this and I was just so in love. And it's perfect for summer because it's like a nice little piece of jewelry that's really bohemian and just so laid back. I'm so sad I didn't get this before my trip because I would have totally worn this and it's completely tangled so one second. There you go. It has really cute chains looped around the actual piece of the jewelry and like I said this is an anklet so it's meant to go around your ankle and I think this is actually gonna look really cute with my tattoo like combined. Is that weird? I prefer gold accessories opposed to silver. Um, I also really like rose gold but I saw this and I was just like I need it in my cart. So I ordered it and I think it's gonna look really cute with like a maxi dress or high-waisted denim shorts. Just really fun for summer and it's just really laid back and bohemian. Go ahead and link Jewelment down below and you guys can check it out for yourselves. Sign up, it's free and you don't have to pay until you actually get an actual piece. Everything else I got is from California. I'll start with the beauty stuff because I didn't go crazy on beauty. I was just in New York City for IMATS in April so I couldn't really justify buying a lot of makeup but I did stop off at the Sigma Beauty booth and they were giving out these little um, packages. I like to call them care packages but I don't know if that's necessarily the right term. But basically, this just came with a little foundation brush. I have this one, but I feel like this is like redesigned, but this is really great for a liquid foundation. It buffs out the product so well and looks really natural on the face. So if you guys are looking for foundation brushes, I would definitely check out this line. And this is the Flat Top Kabuki, which is the F80. And I'll go ahead and link Sigma's site down below for you guys to check out. I'm a huge fan of their brushes and their products as well. Inside this little package, it also came with a brush. It's a miniature eyeliner brush so this one's actually great for gel eyeliner that's what I personally use it for and that's what I will use this for the last thing that was in this little package was just a eyeshadow trio and it looks like this and this is the dare bear flare palette so it comes with three eyeshadows from each of their kits a nice little cranberry color a purple and a blue so that's kind of fun for summer just to add a nice pop of color to your eyes so that's what I got from Sigma and I went to Sephora because my friend Aspen has amazing lashes have you seen her mascara routine video I wanted to die her lashes are flawless so I picked up the benefit their real mascara and I got the baby size just because this was like ten dollars and I wasn't sure how it was gonna work on my eyes so I just picked up the mini and I really 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 like this I can say that I will be repurchasing this in the future possibly in the full size and this is something I've been using every day now and I really like it we also stopped off at Lush and I didn't buy too many things just because I had to fly back home and I wasn't trying to transfer a whole bunch of soaps and body washes and stuff home with me but I just picked up two little things here the first thing I got was just a lip scrub because these are great for exfoliating your lips and I actually tried this out in the Lush store the lady was so lovely I freaking love them Lush Everyone at Lush is so nice, no matter where you go. So this one here is just the Sweet Lips, and this one has like the chocolate scent. It's literally heaven. I'm so obsessed with this. I've been using it so much since I got it, and I'm so happy that I just caved in and bought it because I've been looking at it for so long. And they also just gave me a sample of the Vanishing Cream. It's like a moisturizer for uh, acne-prone skin, I think. I think that's what she says, but this literally smells like Fruit Loops, so I was like, hey, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to warn you now that I picked up a lot of random crap in California, so you're not going to see like a bunch of 
you know, actual cool stuff. But I did get two new phone cases at like a little kiosk in Pasadena. This one is just a black bunny case. I love how it looks on my white iPhone. It's so cute. And my friend Emily got matching ones except she got different colors. And I got a blue one because this one's fun for summer and springtime. So I'm obsessed with these. I think they were like $12. You can find them on Amazon, I'm pretty sure. We also went to Kitson and I was so obsessed with a little rhinestone bear. Kendall Jenner has this. I saw a picture of her on Instagram and I was just like need it so I got the little gold rhinestone bear can you guys think of a name for him I think rhinestone bear is kind of cute but it's not very unique also at Kitson I picked up a wild fox jumper I was definitely looking for a jumper like this for so long and I knew that Kitson sold them so I was just like let's go get one so this is the wild fox jumper that I picked out I thought it was so cute it's definitely going to help me remember my trip and it says California girl so I thought it was so appropriate and I love it it's so soft and I'm kind of scared to wash it because I think it's going to shrink. So I'm going to have to make sure that I read the directions on the little tag before I, you know, wash it and everything. But I'm so excited for this and I think I'm officially obsessed with Wild Fox jumpers. I want to collect them all, like Pokemon. Then I stopped off at Supreme and I'm not sure exactly where the store was located but I was so excited to be there basically. I went in to look for a beanie but they didn't really sell beanies I guess because it's summertime and I was just like, okay, I can leave the store. But I saw this snapback and I literally died. It's basically the prettiest mint green color I've ever seen in my life. And these snapbacks are like $40, but you're paying for the brand. I love the font of Supreme here and I love this snapback. I cannot wait to wear it and I'm so freaking excited. So I got that. And then of course they always give you like little decals and stickers. So I have these here and I'm really excited for these actually. I think my most exciting purchase came from Louis Vuitton. I went to Louis Vuitton and I knew for a fact that when I was in California I was going Going to buy this item and it's nothing too crazy you guys know that I just bought my speedy in New York City in April so I kind of wanted something to go along with that and it came in this cute little box here almost like a little slide out drawer it's super cute and what is this this is just my little receipt it just pulls out like this it's so cute I was so excited for this purchase you guys have no idea I researched it like crazy I always research everything this is the Louis Vuitton key pouch in the LV monogram canvas and it has a little gold clasp here so you can go ahead and attach it to the D ring that's inside of the purse or a lot of people guys in particular would wear this on their belt loops so I thought that this would just be really convenient for my IDs and cards and that is what I've been using it for last but not least I of course went to Brandy Melville. I went to two different ones because that's how in love I am with this store. You guys know I rave about it all the time. I'm constantly ordering offline and I had to go ahead and get some stuff. So the first thing I got is actually a little sign. They make a lot of these signs there. They had one that said YOLO. I was gonna buy it but I was just like I don't really know about that. YOLO's kind of overused. I saw the Chanel sign and I had to get it. So this is super cute. I Instagrammed it and a ton of you guys liked it and asked me where it was from. Also picked up a bunch of accessory pieces. Got this little cross necklace. It's like a cross that hangs sideways. I'm obsessed with crosses as you guys know. I did get a cross tattoo and a lot of people say that I got it to be hipster. I don't even know what that means. I got it for God. Like that's my religion. I'm Baptist. That's why I got the tattoo on my skin. So just to clear up that and all you guys asking, I got it for my religion and my belief in God and my faith. So just to let you guys know. I saw this little spiked bracelet. Had to get it in gold. I think it was like six bucks. Then I got two cross bracelets. One in white and one in turquoise. I also got this skull bracelet and it has like gold skulls with uh, I guess peachy toned string on it. Another cross bracelet. This one's gold with like a baby blue and this one's really cute. It's like a stretchy. I got so much cross stuff. I got this ring with two crosses on it and I also got this little squiggly square. I'll try to take pictures of this stuff and post it on my website which is kaylalachey.com just because it's jewelry and it's kind of harder to show you guys up close what everything looks like. I got two bandeau tops from Brandy. This one's just like a ashy gray color. Is it ashy? I think so. And then I got it in burgundy. Like I said, this store is super affordable. This was six dollars, so you can't really beat that. I got this sheer blouse, and it's like this light blue mint color. It's showing up as white on the camera, but it's like a very uh, pale like color, and it's so flowy, and it's absolutely so cute, so I had to pick that one up. Lindsay and I went to like this fashion district place. It was like a huge flea market that's open on Sundays. I don't know the exact name of it, but it was so fun going there, and and I saw this Chanel top and I was just like, I need that in my life. It's literally the coolest top I've ever gotten in my life. It's like a crop top. This is going to be so cute with so many things. And I'm so happy that I got this. I think it was like $20 and the girl there made them and sold them. And I was just like, 
Kayla, you can't leave this place without it. The last two things I got are from this store called Gossip, which is in Pasadena, and I got a nude colored bandeau top so I could wear it with lighter colors like that blue top I showed you. And then I saw this skull scarf and I really loved it. It was like $9 and it has like skulls and roses all over it. This video is basically over and I know that this video is so long. I'm not used to doing long videos like this, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want to see what I did in California, make sure to watch my vlogs. And you can find all those vlogs on my second channel, which is AK Doll X2. I'll link it down below. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel as well as my second channel. I I think my second channel is more fun for summer um, just because you get to see what I do on a daily basis. I do upload on that channel pretty much every day or every other day so it's super fun just to keep up with that. Don't forget to check out my Twitter, Facebook, and my Instagram and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys!